This week on The Fan Base, we talk about raises and old men. Uh, no, this is not about the little blue pill. Run it. The Fan Base. Welcome and thanks for joining us again this week in the TFB Sports Bar. I am your host, Dialov, and by my side again is Leo. This episode of The Fan Base is brought to you by a stack of coupons. Because times are tough, and you need to save up for beer money. Not me. I have gotten a raise. Wait, the university actually gave you a raise? I'd like to say it was a raise. Others would like to say they paid me to stay away from the sorority houses. Tomatoes, tomatoes. You know, I'd call it whatever you want, just as long as you pay for your fair share of the pitcher. Sounds like the jokes have already begun. Ha! Get this, this is some info about an old dead guy. It was reported that famed baseball announcer Harry Carey had drank for 288 days straight. Man, he is my hero. His liver is my hero. <laughs> all right, all right, enough of that. On to another old man, but this one's living. Dan Marino sues the NFL and then stops, like it's hammer time, okay? <laughs> he said that him putting his name on the concussions lawsuit was a mistake. And old man Marino also made a mistake in his adult diaper. <laughs> Look, get this, he's so old that even the old people network at CBS dropped him from the NFL show. He's fallen and he forgot to sue. The NBA Finals have started and old man Tim Duncan is back on the court. But this time he asked, who's the old man? See, he actually played the whole game in all that heat. And it was LeBron's body which broke down. See, he missed the last seven minutes for game one. Turn down for what? <laughs> bravo, bravo. Bravo to the maintenance team at AT&T Center. They're the ones who knew how to play defense against LeBron. <laughs> there are a bunch of raises given out this week. Paul George got an extra seven mil for making the third team. His stripper baby mama will get six. Colin Kaepernick was guaranteed 61 million. I thought the only thing guaranteed was him kissing his own bicep. And Nick Saban got approved for $6.9 million a year until 2022. Roll Tide. They say that Alabama Athletics brought in more money than all the NHL teams. Roll Tide. And for all that, the players get one free ice cream scoop from the cafeteria. <laughs> Rolled by the tide. And get this, the joke is on all the Alabama students that end up paying off their student loans for the next 20 years. Not unless they get a job with the NCAA. Also in the category of too much, the New York Mets set a record, and for once it's not for losses. You see, when they were playing the Phillies, they became the new winners of the most Philly cheesesteaks eaten in a visiting clubhouse. I mean, how did they even get that record? Bartolo Colon's belly brought its own belly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. In his defense, he thought the cheesesteaks were M&Ms. <laughs> Tim Tebow says that he can still play quarterback in the NFL. You know what, Tim? It's time for you to bust a nut so you can have that after sex moment of clarity. I know a sorority house he can visit. For Super Bowl 50, the NFL has decided to do away with Roman numerals, which means it would simply be an L. That's L for loser. I'm looking your way, Goldell. I think that it reminded him of L for lawsuits. <laughs> That's it for this week. Now I'm about to rob Leo for his beer money. Uh, until next week, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and find us on Facebook and like us. Till then, enjoy the finals for the NBA and NHL. See you next week. Ah!